We'll wait for you here. Please enjoy yourself as much as you like. School resumes again tomorrow, doesn't it? I'm actually looking forward to it. I see everything so differently now. If you wouldn't mind, perhaps we could walk home together after classes tomorrow. I'd like to experience the town alongside you. Welcome back, Koromaru-san. Hmm? What is that you have there? What's that? You would like to trade this in for a treat? Are you feeling hungry, Koromaru-san? All right, we can get a snack when we get back. But only a small one, understood? while since we attended class. The teachers and our classmates seem to be doing well. By the way, did you notice that Junpei-san was missing? I saw him head for the rooftop before afternoon classes started. Perhaps he decided to skip the first day of the semester? have a reason to be up here I just sort of felt like it only to find Junpei here as well <laughs> I guess I just felt the urge myself maybe we've been through so much together that our wavelengths are in sync <sighs> that's just your imagination if I'm on the same wavelength as Junpei I'd better change the channel anyhow it's so nice today isn't it 
The wind's a little chilly, but the fresh breeze feels great. Looking from here, the view ain't that bad. It's familiar scenery, but I guess that's why it's so calming. The end almost doesn't feel real. People have been passing out and disappearing out of nowhere lately, huh? They've been talking about a lot of shadow-related incidents on the news, too. Mitsuru-senpai said it's because there are too many shadow victims. The memory revision can't keep up. I don't really get it. This is all because of Nyx, huh? Feels like the world's hit rock bottom. There's even weird cults popping up. I guess this won't be one of those, oh, it was just a dream moments. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm not gonna try and act cool and say things like, I want to protect everyone, but I couldn't handle it if the time we spent together disappeared. Yep. In fact, the tales of the amazing battles I survived should be handed down through every generation forever. Look who's talking. Weren't you the one who was sulking and giving us a hard time? Well, that was the passion of my youth. You know, I've matured since. You think so too, right, dude? Well, fine. I'll just have to make a huge comeback then. That's what heroes do. You never change, do you? I'm almost jealous. I'm not one to talk, though. I got stuck in my own head and acted out, too. I wonder if I've grown since then. I mean, it used to be just the three of us, right? If you'd asked me back then... I never would have guessed it'd come to this. We've all been through so much this year. Well, yeah. But you gotta look on the bright side. Our friendship is way stronger now, isn't it? <laughs> Don't say that with such a straight face. You're embarrassing me. But I guess it hasn't been too bad. We've gotten this far together, so let's see it through to the end. Yeah, let's send them packing. And those two guys from Strega haven't made a move, but you know they gotta be planning something. We gotta take care of them, too. Let's show them what C's 2F's trio can do. Now that I got you guys, I feel way more pumped. Oh, I just remembered, Junpei. You never gave me back that CD. In fact, you never return anything you borrow. What? Oh, yeah. That. But do you have to bring it up now?
good day. Of course. Here are my requests. Very well. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Register is overriding acceptable. I've completed registration. I, too, have a purpose. This is your progress so far. Please take a look. So you'll be summoning this one? May it be your inner strength. Are you finished? Ah, which will you choose? Are you finished? We look understand the benefits of coming to these shrines but lately that's changed this is also where we met koromaru san last summer he waited here until we found him even though he knew his master had died i can understand why now what drives people isn't necessarily facts but feelings he knew for a fact that his master had died his feelings of wanting to be with him made him stay. I feel the same. I recognized the fact that I can't protect you, but I came back anyway. Subconsciously, I was acting based on my emotions rather than logic. I was so confused at the time that I didn't notice it, but it's true. Parameters governing my behavior seem to have been updated during my time with you. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest. drives people. But of course, Koromaru-san and myself aren't people. <laughs> Sorry.
Hey. Exchanged with the casino's boss gave me goosebumps. And how about that part when he was all count to five? <laughs> I hope I can be like him when I'm an adult. What do you think it takes for a guy to be hard boiled? That's true. The detective did always make the right call, no matter what situation he was in. He was compassionate but level headed, and he never fell for the enemy's tricks. Come to think of it, that might be just what I need right now. I tend to get worked up about what's right in front of me, don't I? That's exactly the kind of thing a kid would do. I need to fix that. Well, now's as good a time as any to start. I'll give it my best shot. If I do that, do you think I could become like him? A cool, hard-boiled guy, just like the detective in the movie. <laughs> When I hear you say it, I really feel like it's possible. Oh boy, look at the time. But I still want to talk about the movie. Uh, wait, I'm not sleepy yet, okay? She come prepared to be. I don't think anyone will come up here for a while. I leveraged my position on the student council to make it happen. This is, um, the first time I've ever used my authority for personal reasons. Wait, that's not important right now. <sighs> what am I doing? What I'm trying to say is, we need to talk. Firstly, I have to apologize. I'm sorry for what happened last time. <gasps> oh, so it did. When that happened, um, I said all manner of things about you, and then I just ran off. 
That was unbelievably insensitive of me. I'm sorry. I had been planning on telling you my feelings. I just didn't think I'd end up shouting them in public like that. Hey, don't tease me like that. I didn't think I had it in me either. Ever since I started spending time with you, my life has been full of new experiences. I felt shock, joy, even outrage, but every time I've always been thinking of you. <sighs> now that it's come to this, I'm obligated to tell you exactly how I feel. Here goes. I... I... Love you. <sighs> I feel like I'm going to die of embarrassment. I see. That's unfortunate, but I'm glad I cleared the air. You told me it was up to me how to handle these emotions. Thanks to that, I was able to be honest with myself. If I had kept my feelings locked up, I never would have been able to move forward. It is imperative to be true to our hearts, just as you were with your answer. Thank you. If I hadn't harbored these emotions, I would have continued lying to myself, justifying it all under the Kirijo name. And if that had happened, there's no doubt I would have failed on my path in the future. From now on, I'm not going to let myself be constrained by my family heritage. It's because of who I am as an individual that I ended up meeting you. have a lot to thank you for, but there's one more matter I'd like to bring up. I haven't eaten since this morning, so I'm terribly famished. I'd say you bear some responsibility for this. I could do with some takoyaki on our way back. Your treat? I'd hardly complain if you were to do at least that much to mend a broken heart. See you back. damage from pests as I was expecting. That's a relief. But we haven't taken any special measures. What's going on? Oh, this is... Look! There's a ladybug larva! It's so small and adorable. Yes, we wouldn't want to interrupt it while it's eating. Ladybugs are the natural predators of pests that damage plants. That explains why there weren't any harmful insects around. Thank you very much, little ladybug. Even in just these tiny planters, 
There was so much life. There's no one to teach them. They're just doing the best they can. Huh. Sorry, I got distracted. Shall we keep going? Oh, look over there. It may be rude to interfere. But we can't let them ruin our harvest. Let's give the ladybug some assistance this time. Status reads all green. I don't see any problems. That should be enough for today. Let's head back now.
I see you're back. growing quite nicely. I'm amazed at how robust they are. The ladybug has grown into a fine adult as well. Does this mean our mission is complete? That's a job well done. I did my best to do everything in my power. I'm happy I was able to assist. Oh, and we can't forget to thank the ladybug for contributing as well. As I've tended these plants alongside you, I've realized something. I've made so many new discoveries beside these planters. Everyone is doing the best they can to make their way in the world. That goes for the plants, the pests, and the ladybug too. And you as well. I may be a machine, but I also want to do the best I can. I'll give it my all to make my way in the world, just like everyone else. Do you think I'll be able to? <laughs> You're already working hard enough. But hearing that from you is making me even more motivated. on sacrificing my attention here either. Okay, it's time to get started. I think we did another thorough job today. Shall we head back now?
Rosa. See the entire town from here. The moonlight bridge is to the right, and over there is Polonia Mall. Oh, and did you know you can also see our dorm from here? Back in Yakushima, where I'd been sleeping, the ocean waters were much clearer than they are here. But I prefer the view here. Hmm. Before I came here, I didn't even think about whether I liked the scenery or not. What about you? Do you like it here? I'm so glad to hear that. <sighs> Feeling the same way? Watching the same scenery? It's nice. I began to feel emotions towards various things that I hadn't felt before. It's a a little scary sometimes. <sighs> but if I can change by being with you, then I want to cherish these feelings. Oh, I'm sorry to have gone on for so long. It's still January. So the winds can get quite chilly up here. It would be awful if you caught a cold. Oh, there you are. We're all going to Hagakure. Wanna come? easy. Sonata-san's buying today. You remember that bet we made in Yakushima? Wow, you probably forgot all about it by now. Well, you won in the end, even if it was, I guess. But whatever, Sonata-san still lost, right? Even if it took me like six months to make him admit it. Come on, everyone else already left. We got a jet. Everyone's okay with the special, right? Okay, five specials, please. <laughs> Man, this is awesome. Sonata Sons never treated us all to ramen before. I'll accept that I lost. But why do I have to treat all of you? You're still going on about that? Come on, Sonata Son, a bet's a bet. You gotta pay up. All right, all right. I never said I wouldn't. What's wrong, I guess? You doubting me too? No, but... Have you seen the magazine on the counter? The headline caught my attention. What magazine? Hmm. 
This one. Emergence of a Messiah. The charismatic one speaks. Oh, it must be about that doomsday cult. They're all over the internet, too. Hi. Hey, look at this photo. Check out their so-called messiah. What the? Is that Takaya? I thought something was up. So, it's Strega after all. I just lost my appetite. Listen. Mankind is currently imprisoned by the sins of hate and anger. But soon, a savior will descend upon this world to break the chains that bind us and lift us to new heights. This great being is known as Nyx. I have beheld her glory, and she has blessed me with power beyond belief. When Nyx arrives, there will be no more pain, no more suffering. Humanity shall be freed. How the hell does he know about Nyx? Wait, he's saying that Nyx will save the world? But that's a lie! I don't think that even matters. This is all just a game to him. That bastard! But there are those who do not understand the truth, even though they have also been granted her blessing. They have acquired the same power as I, yet they abuse it for their own personal gain. These miscreants are the ones to blame for the recent tragedies that have been plaguing our streets. Wait, is he talking about us? the only ones here, you know. And what do they mean by the charismatic one? Why is he suddenly a celebrity? Well, apparently Jin was already pretty well known on the internet. He's probably good at influencing public perception. Yeah, I bet he orchestrated Takaya's rise to fame by building his brand like a celeb. Ugh, those two make me sick. Brothers and sisters, I shall go forth to make preparations for Nyx's arrival. But do not fear those evildoers who desecrate their gifts. Nyx shall right their wrongs. May your hearts be filled with peace as you await your salvation. Blessed are those who take joy in the coming of Nyx. The revolution is upon us, my brethren. Revolution? People can't seriously be buying this crap, can they? Perhaps the power of an exceptionally charismatic individual is the only way to change this nebulous future. That's the end of the article. It appears Strega disappeared again after the interview. Well, there's only one place they could have gone. Tartarus. <laughs> They're just wasting everyone's time. Still, it seems they've managed to shift the atmosphere of the entire city, even if they don't say it out loud. People must be scared inside. Yeah, they probably are. Why else would anyone believe this nonsense? It's not normal. Believing what you hear is a choice. There's no real way for them to know what's true. Well, no wonder it feels like the world's ending. We're all gonna die. But is that so unusual? All life will eventually come to an end. Does Nyx's involvement change that in some way? Death is a natural occurrence in the cycle of life. Don't all humans realize this? I guess. Tell you the truth? I never even would have thought about my own death if none of this happened. But we're already here, so why don't we just leave it at that? Our target is Nyx. If Strega gets in our way, we'll deal with them, too. That's all there is to it. Agreed. We'll probably run into them in Tartarus anyway. No matter how you look at it, they want us out of the picture. Promise day's almost here, huh? Yeah. We need to do all we can until then. All right. Then first things first, we're gonna need lots of energy. Let's eat! Excuse me! I'll add a Hagakure bow to the list! You don't mind, right, Sonata-san? Oh, Junpei, didn't you say you were eating half of Igus' food, too? <laughs> don't worry, I'm starving. 
You better eat it all. Is that... There's a possibility. Stop messing around! So, um...
Thank you very much. Behind me, this could be dangerous. They seem very angry. You're the ones that I often see at the shrine. What's wrong? <laughs> what? Koromaro san? You think we what? Wait, we aren't mistreating Koromaro san. It's true that he's been helping us in our battles, but. What? No. Oh, um. These are Koromaro-san's old friends. They doubt our intentions regarding Koromaro-san, since he's been more frequently injured lately. How can we make them understand? This is all a misunderstanding, everyone. Be angry. Just calm down. Uh. Uh. I'm so sorry. My hand is hard. I see. No wonder they're suspicious of me. My body is completely unnatural to them. I hope that dog isn't hurt. I've been thinking lately. No matter how human my heart becomes, my body will always remain a machine. Of course, it's obvious when you think about it, that I'm not strong enough to be a weapon, and I'm too stiff to pass as a human. There's nowhere I truly belong. I'm neither completely machine, we're quite human. <sighs> but... <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. You're right. Even if I can't quite explain it, I have to be true to myself. Hmm. Sorry for bringing all of this up. If I hadn't been created, I never would have met everyone. And that includes you. If I can stay by your side, then nothing should faze me. I know that. Koromaru-san's friends understand our situation. I don't want you to end up in danger again. I'll see you later. Excuse me. to give myself a makeover. I need a new image. Maybe I should triple my current height, 
so I can look down on my enemies. Or maybe I can add spikes to my shoulders, or carve a giant dragon onto my back. Reading this book has convinced me. This is what I need to do if I want people to think I'm strong and reliable. Outer appearances carry an unimaginable amount of influence. The main character of this story also put a lot of effort into looks, so people would take him seriously. That's why I wanted to change my image, too. If I want people to think I'm strong, I need to look the part. What do you think? I'd like to hear your opinion as our leader. What? You mean there's something else that's more important? Oh, could it be... I'm sorry. It looks like I've had the wrong idea. At one point, the main character of the book says, can't have people think I ain't cool. Up until then, he cared so much about his image, yet he goes to raid his rival's territory wearing nothing but a shimekomi. I finally understood what he really meant after hearing what you said. The most important thing is to hold true to your beliefs, no matter what. I'm going to hold true to my beliefs as well. I may not look reliable, but I will make up for that with attitude. I'm going to operate at maximum output so that I can be useful to everyone. For some reason, I feel like going to Tartarus and raising some hell. Maybe we can organize a raid. Oh, I didn't realize it was so late. That's unfortunate. I suppose I'll just go back to my room for tonight.
Could I trouble you for a moment? Have you seen a kitty cat around here? She's a precious little white spotted cat named Michan. She slipped away when I wasn't looking. I'm so worried about where she could have gone. She's getting on in her years, like me, so I doubt she could have gotten very far. A white spotted cat. Did you see one? Oh, I see. I've been so worried. I hope my little Michan is eating all right. Thank you for your help. I'll try looking elsewhere. A white spotted cat named Michan. If you don't mind, could we help her look? Being separated from a loved one can be very distressing after all. usually used in situations like these. What goes around, comes around to hit you in the back of the head. That's it! She might be so hungry, she could eat a house. Or was it hungry as a house? In any case, we should hurry. shadows. But when it comes to this, I'm useless, aren't I? And I was the one who insisted we search. I'm sorry. We should probably give up the search for today. I'm happy that you took the time to indulge me in this. Hmm. It's not working out. After all, how could a machine like myself have feelings like a normal person? alone today. I need some time to think. I'm sorry. After you invited me out, too.
Good morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Yes, exactly. catch in the park. Yeah. Kinda messed up, don't you think? Playing catch is how kids are supposed to make friends. Adults can't just ban it because they feel like it. Yeah. Um, yeah, that'd be the logical response, but I'm just saying, if more places end up like this, it's gonna be a real problem for kids who want to play baseball. In any case, I didn't know it was banned here till today. When I first moved here, play against the wall every now and then. This whole catch thing. It's because I wanted to get my arms back in shape. I've been thinking about maybe getting back into baseball again. I still have no clue what I want to do with my life. And if I keep trying to avoid it, I'll have nothing but regret hanging over me. Next time I'm asked what I'll be doing in two years, I want to have a real answer. That's why I'm picking baseball back up. You, uh, Think that's the right call? Oh yeah? <laughs> well that makes me feel pretty good about it then. Anyway, here. This is for you. Today was a bust, but we'll try again another time. Hang on to that till then. Though I Guess we'll have to wait till after, you know what, huh? <sighs> I don't know. Honestly, I've been feeling like this since April. I can barely juggle what I've got on my plate as it is. Let alone think about the future. They're senpais, though. They're such badasses. They're still prepping for exams, even with everything going on. Man, it's been a hell of a year. We're gonna look back on all this someday and wonder how we ever got through any of it. It wasn't all good. And we hit more than a few rough patches. Guess you could say our short lives have been pretty wild so far, huh? <laughs> right? Despite all that's happened, I'm glad you became our leader. I know I said you should do what you want to do. Thanks for choosing to fight. Well then. Let's make sure this chapter of our lives ends on a happy note. All right? And then, Hollywood will turn our adventure into a movie! That'd be the lead, obviously. 
Dude, you'd be a shoe-in for best supporting actor. <laughs> that serious crap ain't our style, is it? Come on, let's head home. We'll figure out how to sweep the Oscars on the way.
is me, Chan-san. I'm so glad. Let's go tell the old lady about this. Oh, oh, there, there. You seem a little skinnier than you used to be. This little one is all I have left to keep me company. I was so lonely when Michan was missing. I don't know how I can thank the both of you. Lonely? Is being by oneself lonely? Oh, yes, dear. When you get to be my age, you'll find that all the wealth in the world won't take care of you. No one can truly live alone. Some of my neighbors have delightful children, but oh, oh, they aren't interested in old ladies like me. Miss. Well, Michan, shall we go home? Thank you so much, you two. It seems that living is something that can't be done alone. Yes. It's important to keep someone in your thoughts and to know that you are in theirs. To be able to contact them anytime and to touch them. But I do understand one thing. It seems I feel happy when I'm together with you. But I have to wonder if living means to be able to connect with other people. How close to that goal can I come with a body like mine? Hmm. Just kidding. I've been exceedingly negative lately. I wonder what's wrong with me. We should start heading back. Luxurious veggies? Man, 
All this non-stop watering and weed pulling, not to mention the bugs, it's pretty monotonous. Kinda just feels like busy work. What, you some kind of monk now? Trying to reach enlightenment or something? Well, if we get to train and raise veggies, it's like killing two birds with one stone. Maybe we should try catching flies with chopsticks, like one of those master swordsmen, huh? Gotta say, we've got a long way to go before these veggies put us on easy street. Anyway, I'm the one who asked you to join me in the first place, so I gotta be the one to look out. Da -da -da -da! The veggies have leveled up! Another day of hard, honest work. Let's head back downstairs.
and chaos reigns. You struggle so fervently, twinkling like stars in the night. But such delusion will not lead to deliverance. Why not join us in the Messiah and await the moment of salvation? You say that only because you don't know the truth. Heed the voice of the Messiah and follow the path to true salvation. Speak to our Savior. Well, well, well. I do believe this is the first time you've ever visited me. Hmm. I'm sure you are aware of the coming salvation. Yes, you certainly wouldn't be so stupid. I'm certain you've realized it by now. 
We have no further reason to be enemies. Your efforts were all for naught. The Dark Hour will persist, and Nyx will bring an end to this planet. Fate has been decided. But there is no need to worry. We are simply being freed at last from the illusion of a future rife with betrayal. Nothing more, and nothing less. All you must do is embrace this truth. Do so, and I shall be your shepherd. <laughs> ah, but of course, that's just the kind of person you are. <laughs> so then, you intend to fight Nyx? I see. I scorn those who preach about the future with improvidence. The world does not need a script that is already written, nor does it want for charlatans who speak as though the future can be seized. What it needs is for the curtain to fall. If I just endure for now, if I can wait until tomorrow, these blind hopes for the future are the root of the people's suffering. They can never be saved because they look to a future that doesn't exist. It doesn't matter whether you can defeat Nyx or not. Why, you ask? Because you won't even be able to reach her. On the day of salvation, I will wait atop the Tower of Demise for Nyx to arrive. And be warned, if you dare to oppose me, I will show no mercy. I uh, guess we'll get started.
you very much. Uh, that old lady. She's Michan san's owner. Hey, Granny! Got a date tomorrow. But, uh, I don't have any money or anything, you know? Oh my, is that so? Oh, you poor thing. You've always been such a good boy, Kyoshi. This advance on your allowance will just be between you and me. Come on, quit it! I told you not to call me Kyoshi! But it's such a beautiful name. I picked it out myself, you know. It was the name of a fine doctor from my home village. Yeah, I know, I've heard. Come on, hook me up already! Oh, yes. It's not much. Try not to spend it all in one place. Sweet, thanks. See ya! Be careful, and visit again soon. I have something I want to ask that Kiyoshi-san. Kiyoshi-san, please wait. Hey! Don't call me that... Uh, uh, I guess senpai do you know me? Well, yeah. You're famous. Uh, I'm uh, Kiyoshi Sakuma. I'm a first year. Everyone calls me Joe, I guess, Senpai, so you can just... I would like to ask you something, Kiyoshi-san. Do you mind? Uh, uh, sure. Kiyoshi-san, do you feel lonely when you are by yourself? Huh? What? Your grandmother said that she's lonely because she has nobody else. What is this, a lecture? No, I just want to know. Why don't you visit your grandmother more often? If you are her relative, you may have the power to alleviate her loneliness. I mean, I am her grandson, but... Look, I don't need a lecture from you, all right? It's none of your business, okay? Kiyoshi-san, have you ever considered what it means to live? To live? Personally, I think the bonds between people are what's most important. That's what your grandmother is slowly losing. To live? Are you kidding? No one actually talks like that. What more do you need out of life than to have a blast? To have a blast? I mean, you're happy when you're having fun, right? So hell yeah! We're alive to have a good time! A good time? So, what do you say, Aiga Senpai? If you got time, why don't we... Thank you, Kiyoshi-san. Let's go. Huh? What the hell? What, so you were just trying to play me? Screw you! I can't understand Kiyoshi-san's feelings. And I even made him angry. Did I do something wrong? I see. I wonder why hearing you reassure me that way is... Well, it makes me happy. 
I... Ever since I decided to live, I've been asking why and how more frequently. The more time I spend with you, the more I discover that I don't understand. But when I ask myself why I'm not alive, I never have an answer. <sighs> Is this what you call frustration? But at the same time, I feel extremely lucky. I would even say I'm more fortunate than others, despite not being human myself. After all, you are very important to me, and I get to be by your side. It's strange how two conflicting feelings can coexist. In all honesty, though, my feelings towards Kyoshi-san are unusually harsh. Kiyoshi-san has warm, soft hands to embrace those precious to him. And yet he... <sighs> what is this ugly feeling? Is it... jealousy? Let's stop this. It isn't right. Yes, I am stopping right here. Shall we go home then? Just as the hero passed out from pushing himself too hard. That part where his teammates managed to keep an even score while he's out was such a tearjerker. The game's almost over, and our hero, still weak after a short rest, steps up to the back. Hey, you totally get it. I honestly thought you wouldn't be into it so much. It's predictable, but it doesn't stop it from being awesome. Man, I forgot how good stories like these are. All right, now that we're at the best part, let's go full speed till the end. Whew, what a ride. The hero totally kicks everyone's asses in the end. And that part where he's so exhausted that he like surges with power, it's like his senses heightened to a whole nother level. Would it be so freaking cool if we could do that? I think so. It's gonna be intense, you know. It's what separates the chumps from the masters. You can't just rely on raw strength. You gotta concentrate, let go of all that tension, then your power's all like, wham, 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 and then you unleash it like, Well, Or maybe you power up like, then you let her rip. I think I might actually be able to pull this off. I gotta look into this more. Wanna... And 
And that, my friend, wraps up the series. Being alone's fine, but with gems like this one, it's better to share the fun with a pal. I'll bring you something else next time. We should do this again when you're free. Let's call it a night, shall we? Man, I'm gonna sleep like a log. Yoshi-san's grandmother. Good afternoon. Oh, you're those nice students from before. Hello there. You have great timing. I was just hoping to run into you two again. The truth is, Mitron's disappeared again. Oh, so it's a recurring problem. Don't worry, though. At least this time, we have an idea of where to find her. No, that's all right. I believe that this time, Michan went in search of something. In search of something? When cats feel that their life is nearly over, they look for a place to wait for the end. Isn't that what they say? Wait, but what about... It's okay. Michan even came to say goodbye to me before she left. So... I don't think I'll need you to find her anymore. Miss... Besides, it's more or less the same for me. My day will eventually come too. And when it does, I hope I can rest in peace without making trouble for anyone else. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry. I did want to make sure I thanked you two again. It was nice to see you. Well, good day. 
Wait. Miss, um... You're not alone. I'm certain of it. <laughs> yes, you're right. No one is ever truly alone. Not as long as they continue to live in this world. See? I have the company of a fine young lady such as yourself. <sighs> Bless you, dear girl. You have a kind heart. See you later. Kiyoshi-san said that people live to be happy. Was Michan-san happy? Was Michan-san grateful to have been born? For what purpose was Michan-san born? Life. Where does it originate? Where does it go? What reason does life have to exist? Living means connecting with others. All life eventually ends. Parting seems to be a natural and inevitable aspect of life. An unavoidable end. Life is cruel. I wonder, will I too someday have to part with you forever? <sighs> I do want to live, but that's not the only thing. I... It's not just about becoming more human. It's about you. Being with you. What... what is this feeling? What do I want to do? <sighs> I'm sorry for getting upset. I'm going to head back. Here comes the champ. Now things are getting exciting. Get him, Amada.
We heard you guys were gonna have a match, so we came to witness it. These kinds of things need an audience, don't you think? When I told them I wanted to beat you, they all offered to help. I set up a training routine for him, and gave him advice on his movements. I also wanted to build my legs and core, so I've been going on runs with Koromaru. And I took on the role of being you for practice matches. We figured if he couldn't land a hit on Junpei, then beating you would be out of the question. But hey! Spare a thought for the guy covered in bruises over here! Man, he really didn't hold back anything on me. Well then, let's do this! <sighs> You're doing good, Amada! Keep it up! You can do this. Just take it half a step further. <laughs> Crap, did he get hit? The next one's coming. Get up! Lucky. Plus, I did kind of cheat. No. You saw a window of opportunity and you took it. That's something to be proud of. Fuka and I bought some roasted sweet potatoes. I was looking for everyone to come eat with us, but what are you guys doing up here anyway? We're witnessing a showdown between men. Right, Amada? It sounds kind of weird when you put it like that. But yeah. I guess so. It was a great match on both sides. Huh? I don't really get it, but it sounds like you're having fun. It's cold though, so you should head inside soon. Oh wait, did you say sweet potatoes? Count me in! I bought them for a Matakun. Junpei, you can have the skin and the burnt parts. Hey! What am I, a dog? Thanks for the match. I learned a lot from it. If we do one more round, I'll definitely lose. I just got lucky. You really are amazing. Technically, we're tied one to one now, so the next match decides the real winner. Not sure I actually have a chance, though, but I hope you'll let me challenge you again sometime. You gotta promise, okay? Okay. Then, until that time comes, will you hold on to this for me? That's the key to the house I lived in with my mom. Whenever I look at it, I remember the time I spent with her. That house is filled with all kinds of memories we shared together. I know the final battle isn't going to be easy, but no matter what, I want to come back here. I feel like this key will connect us to each other. And I hope someday, maybe I can be that person someone can always come back to. Just like how Mom and everyone at the dorm was there for me. Uh, sorry for talking for so long. Shall we go down and have some sweet potatoes? So our next match would be next year? Or maybe even longer than that. I know! How about once I reach the same height as you? And if we're around the same build, I might stand a chance. Oh, but you'll probably be even stronger by then. <laughs> when that time comes, I wonder what everyone will be like. It's exciting just thinking about it.
Hey there! Too. I hope no one finds out I snuck you into my room. They'll hear me if I'm too loud. <gasps> Wait, I didn't mean it like that. Don't get the wrong idea, okay? Th hey, you don't need to say it. Jeez. Whatever. I wanted to give you something. And this is for you. You know what it is, right? It's the strap from my cell phone. I got it at the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It's been my special keepsake for years now. Because my dad bought it for me. I used to talk to the little charm attached to it when I was alone in my room. <laughs> you must think I'm nuts, huh? But ever since I got to know you, I've stopped talking to it. It means a lot to me. So I should explain why I'm giving it to you. I'm only gonna say this once, okay? within myself. Hey, when this is all over, maybe we can spend some time together. Just the two of us. In fact, would it be alright if I jumped the gun a bit and some of that time right now? I'm not ready to say goodnight yet. <laughs> I'm blushing, aren't I?
a look. Thanks for stop. I'm sorry to ask this so suddenly, but can you come with me? There's something we need to discuss. Uh, you and all of us, or just him? Just him for now. Come with me to the student council room. that she'd only want to talk to him? Eh, probably big, important student council business. Maybe, but Senpai was acting a little weird. She had that look she gets when she's keeping some terrible secret. Ah, you worry too much. I guess we might as well head home. Hey, wait a sec, Junpei. According to the seating chart, if he's not here, you have to take over cleaning duty. Have fun sweeping the hallway. What? Since when? There's something you have to know. Do you remember Chidori, the girl who was with Strega? I don't mean to alarm you, but the truth is, there's a chance that she may wake up today. I know what you're going to say, and yes, we did see her die with our own eyes. However, a few days later, her body began to undergo transmogrification. For the past few weeks, she's been in a sort of stasis, neither living nor dead. I don't know. It may be related to her persona's abilities, but that's mere speculation. The reason I wanted to talk to you is... How do you think we should tell Iori? You see, she's probably... Yes, it's me. I see. Yes. I understand. That was the hospital. They say she's just awakened. It's hard to believe, but it seems that Chidori really has come back to life. Did, did I hear that right? Iori? Chidori is... Is this a joke? Some kind of trick? No, it's not a joke or a trick. She's currently recovering in the same hospital as before. But, Iori, she probably... Shidori? Shidori's... alive? What's gotten 
gotten into him? Well, I guess it's a moot point now. But perhaps it's for the best that he found out this way. I think I'll head to the hospital after this, too. Could I ask you to come along? Huh? Junpei? You took off that fast and you still haven't gone inside? Well, I mean, it's kinda... We'll wait outside. It wouldn't be good for all of us to charge in. I agree. Go on, Iori. You go in, too. <gasps> Our damaged endocrine system and other internal organs have completely healed. She's still weak, but... There's no more danger of her dying in two years. Chidori? Is it really you? I'm not dreaming. Am I? Dreaming? <laughs> it's true. It is you, Chidori. <sighs> Who are you? Huh? What? I thought so. Transmogrification is the proof that one lacks potential. I had a feeling this might be the case. This is Kirijo-san and Iori-kun. They were your friends last year. Friends? <sighs> My name is Jidori Yoshino. I'm sorry. It hasn't quite hit me yet, but I guess I don't remember anything of the past few years. It's like I was having a really long dream. Chidori, you It seems all of her memories after she awakened to her persona are gone. She remembers everything that happened before then. But as for you all... <sighs> Iori... Nah... I think... It's better for her... That she doesn't remember... All that stuff about the fighting and... The suppressants... When you're having a nightmare... It's better to be able to wake up. I didn't say it was a nightmare. Don't put words in my mouth. It was a dream of meeting a kind, warm person at the end of a long tunnel. I can't remember it clearly, but I wanted to make him happy. And I... I think... There were flowers. A room filled with them. Ugh. Chidori! Take it easy. Don't force yourself to remember. Flowers in a room. If she can remember that part clearly, then maybe... Do you remember how she'd occasionally use her power to make flowers bloom again? She'd always do it for the flowers in her room on the days when Iorikun would visit. And she would always spend more time on the flowers she received from you, Iorikun. 
She never even looked at me when I brought them in, though. <laughs> now I see. Any flower she touched would be mysteriously preserved. I ended up keeping them all for my research. But after the autopsy, I put them all on her chest as a tribute. Now that I think about it, that must have been the night she began to transmogrify. The power to share one's life with others. Could she have reclaimed the life energy she'd given to those flowers? Well, there's no real proof. But compared to her previous state, she's changed. The loss of her power is part of it, but furthermore... Excuse me? Are you talking about me? We were talking about how you want to live now. Hmm? What do you mean by that? Of course I want to live. I have to find the person in my dream someday. I don't have time to lie in bed forever. Supposing you do find him, what will you do after that? Well... <sighs> that's none of your business. Chidori. The strength of two hearts connected brought about a miracle. Or, rather... No. <laughs> Chidori. Hey, hey. W why are you crying? I... I can't help it. I... I've... I've never been so happy in my entire life. <laughs> Have some self-control now. Let's go.
Thank you.